Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro and in this video I'm gonna show you one very cool feature that you would love to use if you are working as a Power BI developer. Often it becomes very tiring to share your file with other user or other developer and also to save into your local machine. Whenever we are working in an organization we would want to save file at a common place where everyone can use it or access it. So in this video I'm gonna show you what you can do. First of all, you have to download the latest version of Microsoft Power BI Desktop app. If you haven't downloaded it, please do download that. Once you download that, then you have to go to the option and settings. Click over here, go to the options part. Once you are over here, you have to go to the preview features. And at the bottom, you would find this save to OneDrive and SharePoint. And once you are checked for this one, then you would get another option share to OneDrive and SharePoint. That's you have to do. Then you have to simply click on this OK button. I have already done that. And also please don't forget to restart it. Now you would see as soon as you're gonna open your Microsoft Power BI desktop app again, you would find this option share, which was not there earlier. Here you would find the copy link. You can get the share and also you would find this manage access. So there are a couple of ways that you can share this file. So if I'm gonna click on this share button, it's gonna give me a new pop-up over here. So this is going to be my file name. And over here, you can clearly see that upload your file to OneDrive to share it. That's what you have to do. You can also click on the more options. Here you would come automatically over here. So this is gonna be your some of the recent locations, but you can click on OneDrive. Over here, you are well connected to your OneDrive. If you haven't signed in, then it's gonna give you an option whether you want to sign up or sign in that you can do over here. And once you sign in, you are gonna see your OneDrive over here. After that, you can save your file on your OneDrive and any other user can access it directly from there. Not only that, the version controlling is gonna be automatically over there, so you don't need to worry about that. Second option is that if you want to save it to your device, you can simply come over here on left hand side bottom corner and you can click browse and here you can save your file. So this was the feature which I found was missing from the Power BI because it becomes very tedious when we have to share the file with other developers. And over here, you would notice that on the top of this, you would find this last saved timing as well. So that you can get to know, okay, at what time that file have been saved. Not only that, you can also click on the drop down, and here you would find your file name, location, sensitivity level is there, and then you can move, rename or share your file as well. Now suppose you want to share this file with someone else that can be inside your team or that can be outside your organization that how you can do that. Well, it is very simple. You have to come and click on the share button over there. You have to click on this share. Once you would click, it's going to give you a pop up over here. You can select whether you want to allow them to edit or can view only. I'll select the view only. Now either you can start typing their names or email address, something like that you would get and send and type the message as well. Otherwise, simply copy this link. Once you would copy this link, the link is copied and you can directly share with them. That's how you can easily share your .pbx file with anyone, anywhere. What do you think about it? Please do let me know in the comment section. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.